the Tonga underwater volcano eruption update, we have a third lap of shockwave recorded. This is according to Volcano Discovery. A third pass of the atmospheric pressure wave around the globe was recorded by the Icelandic Meteorological Office. Now we know that this has uh, an ash cloud, the eruption of Saturday had an ash cloud reaching 30 kilometers into the stratosphere and uh, the shock waves be they believe have, that have gone around the world, they believe have also gone into the ionosphere where the ISS is to be found, the International Space Station. Now, um, the attached pressure diagram depicts six pressure peaks rather than three because the wave arrived twice, both from north, northwest, and from south, southeast, with 10 hours delay between the peaks, as informed by Dr. Evgenia Ilyinsanka, the researcher of Leeds University. And we'll see what it looks like. You can see the peaks. The pressure graph showing six peaks of waves, according to the uh, Twitter image. We still have a, an eruption going on. It's five out of five. It's a submarine volcano situated between Fiji and the North Island of New Zealand. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. And here we are. Also, the uh, activity photo gallery from the ash-covered Nuku Alofa, which is, of course, the capital of Tonga. The images, ash affected Nuku Alofa, capital of Tonga, coming from local people. After the eruption, moderately strong ash rain of small lapilli set in covered uh, all, in, uh, all surfaces. Color of most particles up to a few millimeters in size is most, mostly brown and reddish brown, described as earthy color. This could mean that most of the ejected material might be from older lava rocks. Now we know that the last time this large eruption of this size happened was about 1100 AD. Before that it was about 200 AD and they believe that about every thousand years a big eruption happens. This could be a big one. They believe that it could be going on for weeks or even months. So this is the latest of uh, the Tonga underwater volcano. The uh, shock waves have gone around the world and also up to the ionosphere. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.